Oh, do you see how my hand is twitching? Yeah, you're not doing that? No. <laughs> you train too much? Yeah, yeah, probably. It's overloaded, yeah. you know? Crazy. I'm recording now, so it's like such a Okay. <laughs> so we see you work hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> no, but I'm like, oh, I'm feeling something and I'm looking and it's moving and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Crazy. Um, can I ask now? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you can explain to me what were the things uh, that attracted you to to Brandby? Yeah, as I told you before, it's it's more or less the 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 the, the people from the club who convinced me that this is the the right move, you know. And I was I was really giving it thought, you know. And uh, speaking to them, I think that we both believe that this can be a good choice and good move for myself and for the team also. So basically, more that the more or less was uh, yeah talking to them. That was the the the, the step that I needed, you know. Mm, what did you talk to uh, to Sevi and Nils about? What are, what is the role that you will have in the team? I mean, we uh, the thing is that I'm the the type of the the striker that they don't have right now, you know. So they I'm not saying that they they are they are they are having a different one. So I think that it will be. A good thing to have a different options, you know, and different styles in a attacking part of the team. So yeah, I can find myself. We looked a lot of videos and a lot of things. I can find my role in there, you know, and I think that it can be helpful and good for me also. I have read a lot of uh, statements about what are your strengths. Some say you're very good header. Some say that you have other strengths. Can you try and explain? When you have to yeah. tell about yourself, what 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 kind of striker are you, and where are the strengths? Okay, yeah, this is a little bit weird, but uh, I, I mean, like football players, some hate to talk about. Yeah, they, but it's yeah. so. How can you talk about your qualities? <laughs> well, nobody likes this. But uh, uh, I think that I'm pretty good on the ball, and uh, when I'm taking on the ball, I mean, like receiving the ball, like keeping the the opponents behind my back, playing with my back, you know, and that that could be good combined with the fast guys that we're having in the team. Mm. And uh, headers also. I remember you scoring a header. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, the <laughs> header is also part of it, you know. So I think that I'm really good box player, mm. you know. So I'm not the run the type who is like running a lot, sprinter and things like this. But I think that my movement and my technique is quite good, you know, and that I'm finding myself good in the box and with a good finishes. Yeah, I remember you as a good box player, but not like a very static one. You're still very kind of dynamic. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm not like a really like a target man, mm -hmm. you know, who is just like standing waiting for the long balls. But I think that the good thing is that I can, I'm like kind of combination between one and another, you know, so that I can play a target man also, but also I can move around. And you're 26 now, yeah. right? Um, how is it to get in a dressing room with, with many young guys? Yeah, actually, this is the first time that I'm one, like one of the older guys in, in the team, you know, and it feels okay. I don't, I don't, for me, age doesn't mean anything, you know, so I think that that now what I should think about is to make them look better, you know, and to try to help them to play on the highest level as, as it is possible, you know, so this will be the first time that I'm having this role. Actually, I'm excited to see how it will go. Is there any of them you, you know in advance? Uh, I mean, I know them obviously from the pitch, a lot of them, but uh, yeah, more or less a few guys. Who? I know them, Max, yeah, mm -hmm. Max from the, of, of course, like an opponent from Norseland still. And uh, I know Josip from Croatia for sure, you know, and uh, who, 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 wait, wait, wait. I know one more that I played before with him that is not playing in Brumby. I forgot it. Just take this too. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but what is the dressing room like? Uh, you know, is it a good mood? Uh, how has it been to? to no, get actually, in? it's really good mood. I mean, since I came, they have started the championship really good. So now, you know, they are they are on a good flow. You know how it's how you say it. But uh, yeah, they are working hard. What I really like, you know, everybody is focused on their job, and I think that that is the basically thing that how it should stay mm. because even though you start good you need to work even harder you know so from what i see it's a good working mentality you know and from this point if you work hard you can only improve and you're kind of a small squad here it's not like a big squad with uh, 30 players uh, yeah. does that mean anything 
I mean, I think for this season, especially that you are not playing Europe, you know, and these things, I think it's okay. You don't need more players because if you have a lot of players, then it will be tough to choose who will play and who will not. So I think that's actually a good thing that you can focus to work with the quality with small amounts of people and it's not that small, it's 20 people still. Mm. So I think that everybody can use this time to, to have a good matches, to have a good training sessions, you know, and to, to work on themselves. Can you try and take us through the last years of your career? Uh, what happened after you moved uh, from Denmark? Uh, yeah, I went to Austria. I went to Austria to Rapid. Uh, I've been there for a year. You know, we played Europa League. We, we had a quite okay season. Uh, then I got an offer from uh, from Apoel, from Cyprus. And I was I was thinking at that time that this is a good move because uh, uh, they were playing Europa League fixed, you know, and I was playing uh, European competitions for what, like, relax, five years, you know. So for me, it's also, the, this was important part. And it was a nice life, nice club, the best club in, in Cyprus, you know. So uh, we played the group stages there also went through. So it, it was a nice season there, but now it came, I was in the last year with contract with Rapid and it was a time to make another change. So that's why I decided to come here. So were there many clubs in the picture? Uh, I mean, of course, you had a lot of offers, you know, but for, for me, I was trying to choose. I think that I'm now in the age that in the next three, four years, I should play the best football, you know, and uh, I, I was trying to find the right f environment that I can work and perform and still develop, you know, because I think that I still have a lot of play space for improvement, you know, so that's why I chose Brumby. Yeah, and you, you mentioned that earlier it's it's been important to you to play in Europa League. You don't get that here in, in Brunby, so it is with the, the longer perspective, this move? Uh, yeah, for sure it is. As I, as I spoke, you know, it's I don't like to make moves only for like a uh, short time period. You need to trust in something that and you need to work on it so it you will make it work, you know, and that, that it can become a good thing. So I think that, the, as I told you, that the philosophy of, of the club is really got to me, you know, and I, as long as they need me, I will be here. This last uh, period in in, uh, in uh, Rapid, mm -hmm. you t I don't yeah, know Rapid. how to... Yeah, yeah it's easy. Um, yeah, I had the loan until July. Yeah. So, and, but the problem was that we didn't continue the championship. So mm -hmm. we kept on training, but it was not sure should it be continued or not, you know, and at the end of the day, they didn't continue. They canceled it totally. So then I had a gap like a vacation time until the because it was like misplacement with the dates because Austria was playing the league until the end of the August or something. And then I finished the league in in, in, in beginning of July, you know, and it was like a gap in between. So I, I, I was on vacation that period. And then since I came to 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 Vienna, basically, I was searching for another club because I wanted some change. You know, so that's the reason why I mostly didn't play. I mean, probably 90% of because of the yeah. Corona and following circumstances. Yeah. yeah. So then now you have made a plan with Borumbia and, uh, and we can see you, <laughs> you train hard here <laughs> yeah. uh, for your uh, for building up your, your physics. Yeah, I mean, like now since I came for last like, four or five days, I'm working like two times, three times a day every day, you know, and it's really tough. But uh, yeah, the main goal is to get back on the pitch and get like match fitness as soon as possible so i think that we are on a good way so now if i'm i'm not the one who should tell you when i'm going to be that's also the coach's job you know so but i hope that it will be like a week or two until i be like ready to play the game yeah uh, how has it been this whole corona period as a football player you know you, you they take something that you're not in control of take away suddenly the the thing you love to do yeah it's a strange thing especially that it changes your life you know totally in a different way you know suddenly you are so much time at home and usually when you're a football player mostly traveling around you know but uh, actually you know we always take a good sides of everything that is hitting you you know but so i never spend more time with my family you know and i never been more at home so actually i think it was that is the only benefit that, that, that you can get from Corona. Everything else was was pretty bad, you know, but uh, now I thought, hope that everything is in a place, you know, and that now we can get back to our jobs. Now you're here. Uh, were you surprised when you heard that Brunby was uh, interested? I mean, I was not surprised because, uh, you know, I, I, I also know the sports director from before and uh, we, 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 we talked, he called me be, before the official offer came. 
we discussed it a little bit, but uh, yeah, as from the first moment, it was interesting to me, you know, but then with all the talk and everything that I already told you, I think it was, it was the right choice, you know, and I think that the time will show, but I think it was for myself also right choice. Yeah. I would like to hear about you having the, the number nine jersey as a striker. It's the perfect number for a striker. Yeah, actually it is. What do you think? Is it the first time in your career? That actually, it's the first time in my career that I'm wearing number nine. Usually I was wearing like 11 or, or, or some like higher numbers. But uh, yeah, I think the first time actually that nine one is available also in the club. So yeah, as soon as I heard, heard that it's available, I took it. So yeah, easy, easy, easy decision. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I have that that much more. Um, maybe talk a little bit about the the system that that Burnby is playing uh, right now as a with a three back and and two strikers, but can also play with with three up front. Um, yeah, like a more dynamic. Yeah, uh, more dynamic thing. What do you think about the the style of play? Yeah, I think the I think the three five two is a, actually a really good system that you can develop both like defensively and defensively. It is so easy to transition, you know. And if you're playing with the three strikers up front, that's even easier for the pressure and for the, all the things that when you are playing for, against somebody who is maybe standing in the low block uh, when you are playing at home or something like that. So I think that it's a hard system to learn, but when you learn it, it's one of the best. Do you know it from early in your career? Uh, I played it in uh, Apoel actually last year with Italian coach. And it was like quite successful, you know, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of running, a lot of work, but when you when you know what you should do, what your role in the team is, then it gets just like really easy. And then, uh, last of all, is it? Do you think it's it's um, it's easier for you to? Because I hear from many players when they come to Burnley, oh, the league is very physical, and they're maybe a little bit surprised about the Danish league. But you know the league. Is that a no? Uh, the, the 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 thing that it's physical, I like. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the duels. I like the fight. You know, and for me, that's that's a plus. You know, I I would rather play in the league that you have a lot of fights than it's just like passing, passing, passing around, you know. So, yeah, I like the Danish league from the previous experiences also. And, and I think it's a good league. It's a good weather to, to play football also. And I, yeah, I think that for my opinion, it's better than Austrian and all these uh, leagues on that level. Mm. And is it easier for you? Because you know the league and the teams and everything around it. I mean, probably a lot of things changed since I since I left, you know. But I mean, like in general, it sh should not take long to to adapt again, you know. And especially that is the kind of football that I like should be easy to to get in. Perfect. Thank you, yeah, thank Pablo. You. Thank you. Can we do a, a quick? Um, how do you ex say your uh, name? Pronounce yeah, your name. pronounce. Uh, like a full name, yeah. 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 Pronunciation okay. service. Pronunciation. If you can do that, just look there. Okay, so I just literally just pronounced my name. Yeah. yeah. Andrea Pavlovich. 